You may have noticed that gas prices have begun to drop after steadily rising for months. The national average tonight is 388 a gallon, down six cents in the past two weeks. One of the factors driving the price of gas is concern about oil supplies from Iran, especially if there's a conflict in the Persian Gulf. For years now, the U.S. and Europe have been trying everything short of going to war to get Iran to drop its nuclear program. That includes unprecedented sanctions. We wondered about that, so we asked Anthony Mason to tell us how those sanctions are working. The oil trade funds about half of the Iranian government's budget. But under sanctions, Iran's oil business has suddenly sprung a leak. The International Energy Agency predicts that by this summer, Iran's exports could be down by as much as 30 percent. It's certainly rattling the, the economy and, and I think shaking the regime that for the first time since the Iran-Iraq war is seeing its oil wealth fundamentally threatened. Mark Dubowitz is a sanctions expert with the Foundation for Defense of Democracies. Last month, he says, when Iran's banks were cut off from SWIFT, the system that processes global payments, Iran had to resort to barter deals. China, India, and South Korea have set up bank accounts in their countries to pay Iran for oil. But Iran must spend that money there on goods and services it often doesn't need. It's unable to transfer the cash home. These Asian countries really have the Iranians both figuratively and literally over a barrel. I mean, they're, they're able to buy Iranian oil at a significant discount and they're paying in their local currency. Iran's oil minister this week claimed the discovery of a new oil field, but exports are falling. We've also heard from our shipping sources that they may be actually storing crude oil offshore because they can't sell it. Kate Dorian monitors Iran's economy from Dubai for Platts, the energy news service. One of the main problems with this whole shipping issue is insurance cover. European sanctions prohibit the insurance of Iranian oil. People buying Iranian oil, even if they're willing to buy it, can't find tankers that are willing to carry it. That's forced Iran back to the bargaining table. Iran has agreed to appear at the UN's nuclear talks in Baghdad next month. Maybe progress. Anthony, thanks very much.